The summoning is complete. You are too late. Welcome back, everybody, to Shining Force CD. Book one. Almost the end of the game. Mission almost the end. With me, Blue Ankylo. We're still playing, uh, essentially, the Game Gear Gaiden 1 game, but remade for this Shining Force CD. Let's say hello to Wazoo. Or, not Wazoo. We killed Wazoo. Let's say hello to Waldo. Where is Waldo? In front of the giant's throne, of course. Waldo. Why do you hide your monster back there? Is there something wrong with it? Let me go back there and see it. Now, now, Lo was part of the force that killed the Dark Dragon, so he's seen a monster or two. No, not yet, guards. Protect the monster until he's strong enough to move. Okay. Protect the monster. We don't have much time. Let's go. Okay. So... Another small arena map. This doesn't look like it's going to take too long. We finally get to fight Waldo. He's also got 50 HP. Well, that's not going to be very hard. There's also an evil monster. So maybe we'll kill the evil monster first. Because that guy, he might be the evil monster boss man. Bolt 3. That can hurt. And uh, is that it? No items or anything? I mean, this is maybe the last battle. Maybe. There's a few enemies hiding around. Anyway, let's just get to work. Ah, uh, we'll be fairly brave. We're going to be doing kind of a split-up formation, though. Anticipating a Bolt 3 coming, basically. I have a hunch that he'll throw it at uh, Blue. We'll see if I'm right. Waldo's protecting them. Maybe the monster won't even move, actually. Making a really nice symmetrical little uh, map. Uh, how can we complete the awesome map? We've got Domingo and Cray. Something like this. <laughs> it's really important that you have a symmetrical party. Oh, the boss can't even move. Alright, well that's going to be bad news for him. That guy's running away. You fool! Alright, now Cray could stand there and make the perfect symmetrical map, but I think we'll just have him attack. Yeah, critical hit! Look at this, Cray. 42 damage, first shot. Oh, here comes Waldo! We found him, guys! Oh, he's got a dark demon breath like uh, Dark Soul did. That'll do some damage. Gotta be careful about that. That's gonna do uh, Blaze 3 plus a little bit of extra damage. Essentially. So maybe we should just go kill him right away. I mean, that would be nice, but... Let's use the mages to finish off the Executioner, because they can't really deal much damage. The uh, melee hitters are doing way better than the mages at this point in the game, so... Yisha level 13, MP2 attack 1, defense 2, quickness 1, and no spells. That's a shame. Alright, well we could uh, go attack the monster, but let's try to kill the demon breath guy here. He's only got 50 HP. <laughs> Thanks for coming down. How's it going, Waldo? Oh, oh, by the way, Blue says, see ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Level 14, HP 2, attack 1, defense 1, final boss killed in one turn. You, you're all so young. <laughs> but as long as the monster lives, I will not die. You will be his first meal. He... Waldo's pretty dead. Wait, he just disappeared. He didn't smoke bomb. I don't believe it. He's not dead. Alright, so then we've got an actual boss, but he can't move. Also, it looks like he's climbing out of a pit, so he's definitely a greater devil or... Well, at least a devil. So, because he doesn't move... We just have to keep out of range 3, and then he, uh, he can't do much. <laughs> so we'll kill his allies outside of his bolt range. And, oh yeah, we should probably get Claude healed up here. Let's hang out. Yeah, let's just hang out down here, get Wendy, Wen or not Wendy, get someone to heal him up. This is actually a pretty safe spot. We can fight off the Executioner without the, uh... The boss monster attacking us. Critical hit! 41 damage. 
I mean, it's possible I could just rush the boss down even, but... Oops. I'm not used to having heal four. Like, three taps to the left to bring it down. Now, I like Mayfair. 50 MP, that's pretty solid. Mayfair has been a pretty good healer, I gotta say. Alright, Kashing. Let's just stay out of range of the bolts. As the enemies come to us and get slaughtered, then we will turn our attention to focus fire on the boss. Besides, there's a, a healer that could cast heal four right behind him. And you know how that tends to go. We'll continue with the, the mages just finishing off weakened executioners. Maybe we'll learn a new spell, Domingo? Domingo? No, not today. All right, don't forget Skull Knights. Cray! I'm just gonna chill back here, finish healing up our bird. The bird does so much damage, I can't let him die. High five. This is, like, Cray's got two moves. He's got uppercut and a high five. If he gives you a high five, you heal 15 HP. All right, so... Getting closer. Now, we do have the ability to just walk on by and ignore the boss as well. So let's start by doing that. Blue does a, a fancy little twirly attack and 15 damage or something. More than 15. 25 damage, yeah. Of course, the critical strike did almost nothing in return. So I can't really stand there safely. I can stand here, though. Stock. Here you go, buddy. Let's finish one of the Skull Knights off. Maybe should have attacked the uh, priest. I don't know. Oh, come on. Come on. You blocked him with his sword. It's cheating. You can't block artillery shells with your sword. All right, Guyan, your turn. There we go. Level 14, Guyan. HP 1, attack 1, defense 1. Acceptable, not great. And Roos can't quite get far enough here. Yeah, not quite far enough. Claude? Was there any enemies hiding on the top left? Just a couple Hell Knights, eh? It's those uh, Wyverns that are going to be kind of the sneaky ambush. Let's prep for dealing with them. And nothing really needs healing yet. Kashing! Now, I could just move Kashing in there, but yeah, no. Let's start fighting some, uh, some assassins. We can't let them assassinate us, guys. Almost assassinated them back, one shot. Apis, level 15, HP 2, attack 2. Definitely not getting as many stats, but, uh, that's still four points. That's pretty good. In their own, all the right places. All right, Domingo, what say you? I wonder if these headless horsemen are immune to diesel. Probably. Possibly. I don't know. All right, Cray Cray. Terrible nickname. Nothing for you to do. You could boost. Yeah. It doesn't make much difference, but we'll boost up some of the fragile mages and healers back here. Nine defense, you know, lots of defense. 16 defense. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that's a total waste of a turn. Alright, Assassin, go straight after Kashing, knowing he has a little bit less defense than Apis. <laughs> Not like it makes any difference. One damage, the Assassin has failed in his mission. Also, I like the fact that he's a bow knight, he has a quiver of arrows, but fires assault shells that explode. Uh, interesting fantasy uh, weapon there. Makes about as much sense as a gunblade. Alright, so... What do we want to do over here? Claw no one's really taking any damage, so... I guess we'll just try to run Mayfair on the left side up. Once we can. And Wendy... Hmm. Try 
try to put this guy to sleep. Ah, uh, let's just blaze him. At least we'll do some damage. I'm sort of regretting bringing Wendy, honestly. I, I don't know what purpose she serves at this level. Alright, we got old Blue. Blue the hero. I can be your hero, baby. 32 damage, one shot's a wyvern. No problem. Just getting all those level ups. And we got Stalk. Okay, the reason I like Stalk here is he can start shooting the evil bishop from out of range of the uh, the boss. Because we got to deal with that guy, I feel, before we start trying to damage the boss. We also got Claude. Sure. Go for the Skull Knight, I guess. Proving that the damage from Wendy was pointless. Claude one-shots it like it's nothing. Alright, Apis. We got a couple of these guys to kill. I guess we'll go for the full HP one and we'll let uh, Kashin deal with the other one. Because, yeah, of course, she'll just one-shot it, no problem. Another 48 XP. I wonder how high of a level you can get off these guys, because... Still going strong! Is anybody taking any damage? No, we're playing real defensively here. Alright, it's time. While the bishop's weak, Bruce can get in there, finish him off, and if the Bruce gets bolted, he'll be the only one hit by it. And then that way we don't have to worry about the bishop. And probably after the next round of boss attacks, we'll start attacking... We could start right now. See, Bolt 3 will do a fair amount of damage, though. Eh, let's just... let's just do it. This guy's only got like 180 X, 80 HP. Now he's down to 150 or so HP. Alright, Domingo... probably not gonna be terribly useful here. Putting him there puts these guys at risk. The problem is, because the boss has such a large range... Pretty much no matter where we stand, we're going to be putting people in danger. Let's see if Freeze does anything to him. Uh, he resists Freeze, at least somewhat. Yeah, the Mage is probably not the best matchup here. Could go for the boss attack here. Now let's get rid of this last Assassin first. I don't think he can do any significant damage, but maybe one of my mages or healers is a little bit weak. So, we'll get rid of this guy, and then we'll focus on the boss with no backup. Alright, there it is. Not a huge surprise. So, Bolt 3, what are we looking at? 24 damage. If he double casts this, some mages are dead. 30 damage crit. Ouch. That's almost enough to one-shot Gates. And, of course, the Wyvern gets his Ice Attack. Alright, so... I really can't see my mages... Like, they're just not going to contribute here, really. 8 damage, 7 damage, it's nothing. It's barely worth your time. Uh, I think I just pulled them out of the way, honestly. Unless slow works, but there's just, there's no way the damage that they can deal is going to really help. And he's going to be immune to anything else they can do. Yeah, unfortunately, Wizard's not very good late game here. It'd be nice to have Blue over there fighting the boss, but he's just going to get killed by a Wyvern. Alright, so I'm going to put you kind of at the back here. Unfortunately, Aura 1 will not heal through Bolt 2. Uh, Yisha could still die next turn. And Domingo will definitely die if I leave him there. But Mayfair gets level up. HP 1, Attack 2, Defense 2, and Blast 3, or Hell 3. Alright, but uh, I think Stock... All of my melee slash physical fighters will do quite well against this guy. And honestly, he doesn't have enough HP for this to take too long. How's Roos' physical? 74? Definitely worth it. 
Because there's only two spots that can do a, a melee attack, unless you can fly. But yeah, he's probably going to get one more turn of Bolt, and then that'll be the end. Oh, we could also have used the Power Ring to boost someone even higher damage. Forgot about that. Guyan hasn't had a turn yet this round, I think. So let's give him an extra 24 attack power. The Power Ring is pretty good. Like, we could use that on Claude if I had it set up properly. And I think Claude would go well over 100 attack. If Claude and um, Guyan can attack, I think this guy's dead. Oh, I should have equipped the Dark Sword. Unfortunately, if we cursed Claude, he may have wasted his turn. But it would have been awesome if it hit. But yeah, I think Claude power ringed up would be the strongest. He would almost certainly go over 100 attack with a power up. And, uh, I mean, Guyan's still 89 is ridiculous. This is, this is a, uh, this is quite the roundhouse kick. 36 damage, Guyan takes down the evil monster. He is the hero. We are victorious. That's the end, right? But wait, there's more, maybe. Oh, I can't believe it. How? Why? My beautiful demon monster is gone. I've got to get out of here with my treasure. Hold it, Waldo. You th you're staying here, thanks to me, Luke. Hey, look who it is, everybody. It's the hero. Not really, it's the hero. It's it's our gladiator plow dwarf buddy from Shining Force 1. He's back. He survived. It's Luke. It's Roos's dad. By the way, were you looking for this fancy sword? The sword of Haya? How you doing? Oh, Luke, where'd you find that? Give it to me. Give it to him right in the gut. But unfortunately, dwarves can't use swords, so he can't actually stab him. Not a chance. This is why you wanted Cypress, isn't it? Iom is no match for its magic, and so you had to destroy it. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it exactly. That sword stands between me and the power. Uh, and anyone who knows its secret must die. Iom wills it. Hocus Pocus, I'm out of here. Or, not out of here, but... Transformation Nojutsu? He has turned himself into... A scorpion. Blue, defeat the Waldo. Use the Sword of Haya. Do it now, for Guardiana and the world. Now, I don't know if this is supposed to be the Force Sword, or the Sword of Light, but I mean, I'm... It'll do. So, uh, I think... Did Luke join us? Luke's over here. He's got the Sword of Haya. You know what? My guide lied to me. My guide was like, so Luke will join the final battle and he will kick someone out of your force. So only bring 11 people so that Luke will join. What a liar! Look at this. You can have 13 people. That's amazing. Anyway, uh, I don't think Luke is particularly great. 68 attack, 36 defense. His son has far surpassed him. I mean, he's got a better axe, but he's still also 12 points more defense. And a lot more HP. Luke's getting old, but still, nice timing. Also, by the way, there's some new enemies. Like, there's some uh, Taros. Hopefully not actually like Taros. Uh, and there's another priest. Bishop, whatever. And some more little lizard men, I guess. And that's it. Oh, wait. A red lizard man with an axe. And a scorpion. Very scary. Let's just keep going. Oh, how many movement points do they have, anyway? Four! Ha! <laughs> That's pathetic. <laughs> They're gonna get slaughtered. Well, we might not have got a high enough level to get all the level- all the high level magic, but I don't think it's necessary. Alright, Claude. Unless they have a lot more defense than I saw. Yeah, just 33 damage from the bird. Goodbye, Taros number one. Level 15 bird, HP 1, attack 1, defense 2, quickness 1. Still decent. Ah, <sighs> good stuff. Alright, we got a healer. We got 
father and son combo. Waldo looks to have about maybe 250 XP. Apis up here. Domingo. We got Kashyyyk. Now, my mages haven't been trash. They were really good for the first half of the game, give or take. But, um... If you can't really get high enough level to, uh... We're gonna skip out on stock and Domingo here. I could have grouped everyone up together a little bit better. But, um... You know, the area of effect magic was good early on. But uh, it definitely feels like if they if they don't learn their high level, like freeze three, bolt three, blaze four type spells by the end of the game, then they're never going to be good late game. Because that's what you need. You need longer range, higher damage, single target magic to really, you know, keep up with the melee fighters. Like blaze four should do 30 to 40 damage, give or take. And that would be enough for um, Wendy to be pretty good if she had it. But I have no idea what level she gets it at. It's going to be unfortunate because, you know, whenever we finish this Waldo guy off, we're probably going to be one level away from it or something. But, oh well. Anyway, these Taros guys don't really have enough attack power to hurt us with normal defense. Uh, I really don't think they're going to cut through 74 defense. So, by the way, here, have a cool sword. That's why I didn't give the Dark Sword to Blue, in case you're wondering. Because I always know you're going to get a special unique sword later on. Alright. So, like... We do have Bolt 2. If you ever if you ever had a large group of enemies, that would be good. But that doesn't happen very often. So... I guess we go for the D-Soul, so that Isha might get a kill. Otherwise, we're just talking about, like, 10 to 15 damage, and that doesn't even make a difference. Speaking of more than 10 to 15 damage. We're going sort of high, yeah. Now, I could also pass the critical sword over to, um, to uh, Claude, and he would get some more attack power as well. That'd be nice. Maybe before this battle, you could have preemptively moved the critical sword over. Anyway, fancy sword. 33 damage. Taros down. Level 15, HP 2, MP 1, attack 1, and bolt 3. How come blue got bolt 3 before any of my mages? What are they doing? What are they doing? Now, I can probably only cast it once, but still, pretty good spell. Uh, you know what, Apis? I think you can do 30 damage, right? Claude can do it, you can do it. Anything Claude can do, you can do better. Level 16, HP 2. Okay, we might be at the point <laughs> where stat gains are not very good. Oh well. Try to keep my mages alive, I guess. No one's really taking any damage, so, you know. Alright, Roos, you're just gonna block this up a little bit. You know what? Get your 15% land defense, land train bonus, whatever. Claude, you're just gonna fly on up and stab something. Claude, I kind of feel like Claude could probably solo this map. Like, I just said I could give him a better sword. He doesn't need a better sword. He, could, he has the dark sword if he needs it. And uh, he can already one-shot everything anyway, so... Okay, now this guy, this guy's gonna be a problem, right? This guy, he's red. And red Ankylos are the worst, so... Definitely stronger than green Ankylos, anyway. 14, HP 2, attack 1, defense 1, quickness 1. And we do have Luke. Don't forget about Luke. Stock. Can't really help out this turn. Alright, we got Waldo holding still. We got a Sentinel. Uh-oh. Watch out, guys. Kashing takes one damage. That's almost enough to make me just quit in disgust. Alright. Most powerful magic. Engage. 12 damage. I just wish we had better spells. Criticals does 19 at least. Domingo level 14, HP 1, MP 1, attack 3, defense 2. I mean, he's getting good stats. Should check his physical damage. He's had quite a few high attack level ups. Oh, but now the enemies are all grouped up. We could hit them with a great spell. You mean, like, bolt 3? <laughs> Might as well, right? Okay, Waldo's immune to Bolt 3, probably until I hit him with this sword. 
But uh, yeah, it's a pretty good spell. We saw we saw the dark monster use it, and now Blue's like, yeah, I can do that too. By the way, just just in case you're wondering, I can do that. Nobody has been injured. Gaian! Uh, why don't... No, the, now, does the boss... I wouldn't be surprised if the boss gets some sort of dark breath attack. He doesn't have any magic, but I bet you he's got a long-range area of effect breath. That probably does, like, 30 damage or something. If I had to guess. Level 15, Gaian. Attack 2, defense 1. That's not bad. He needs those attack ups. Apis. Let's finish off the last lowly Taros in front of the boss. Now, I'm pretty sure we're going to need Blue to start the fight with the boss. Maybe I can power up Blue, actually. Who's got the power ring? Kashing does. If I remember Kashing on his turn, I'll power up Blue, because he's got to be the hero, right? Hero we deserve. Alright, stock. Just for fun, we'll take a shot, but I'm almost positive this won't do anything. Yeah, no big deal. Pretty cool looking scorpion, though. Pretty cool. Alright, Kashing, here you go, buddy. Got a job for you. Item, use, power ring. Come on, Blue. This is what you were born to do. Only 16? Where's my plus 30s? I feel like we got low percentages there. Because it, it is like a percentage increase. But I think it could have given him more with better luck. Oh well, 94 is nothing to scoff at. Also, there's Luke. I, I don't know if Luke's going to do anything, but you know, we got Luke. Oh, quickness is going to wear off. Oh no. Oh, the boss moves! And he's got a huge area of effect, Demon Breath. And it does do a lot of damage. Joke's on him, though. I got a plan for that. Unless he does this twice in a row. Ooh, he almost one-shot Luke. Poor Luke. Alright, joke's on him. I don't have anything right now. Joke's on me, but someone's gonna do something about that soon. Don't worry. Uh, anybody need heals desperately? Let's just make sure Blue doesn't die. That's kind of the priority. Because Blue's got to attack him. If the boss... I don't know if the boss will do two demon breaths in a row, but he might do another round of physical attack, and he might go for blue right away. Also, we can't attack the boss yet, so for now, finish this bishop off. Alright, good job, Claude. <laughs> One XP. Well, he's got enough level ups, I guess. Alright, Domingo, pull back. He can cast boost, but only level 1 boost. Oh no, Yisha! Like it matters. It's actually kind of beneficial that the boss has left his throne room. Because now once we can damage him, we can actually surround him a lot easier. Instead of like, you know, fighting Zeon. Also, respawning bishops were further away from that. Alright, let's do this. Blue Ankylo. I hope it's not now. Okay, it doesn't look like you can actually use it as an item. Because there's no sort of area of effect for it. So we are just going to go for an attack. And I think what's going to happen is every round, the boss is going to get one large area of effect demon breath and one melee attack. But now, hopefully everyone else can damage him. Ah! I've been stabbed! Waldo <laughs> spit a stream of venom. Blue's right arm was poisoned. What? Don't you poison me! My boost spell didn't protect me from the stream of poison! Anyway... We're just going to do this every turn. I could have bought more, but I only bought what I could afford before my little grind. And essentially, with these, you can full heal the entire party every turn. <laughs> it's it's ridiculously broken. Uh, you should never be able to buy healing reins. Like, that's, that's really not fair. Uh, it's Aura 4. I don't even know when you learn Aura 4 in this game, or if it's even possible to learn it. It's a very good spell. It costs probably 20 MP or something. So I think... You know, um, Mayfair might be able to cast it two or three times. But uh, we can just also just cast it forever. Alright, so we don't need to use her healing right now. We're just going to pull her out of the way. And uh, if I ever run out of healing range, then she'll save the day. And Gaian will get in there and we'll find out if he can actually damage the boss now. There we go. Not a lot of damage. The boss has got pretty good stats, but... 
with the full might of the Shining Force, how long will this scorpion survive? If someone had attack spell number two, an area of effect damage buff, we would be so strong right now. Seeing as magic does nothing. Now, just for funsies, I'm going to equip the Dark Sword. It's cursed. It will probably backfire. But I want to try, right? Also, can you use it? You can use it to cast probably D-Soul. It won't work on the boss, but I bet you, you could cast D-Soul like that. In case you want to try. Just 48 damage with the dark with the dark sword. We just took a little bit of counter damage from the cursed weapon. Totally appropriate, no problem there. That was one of my favorite strategies in uh, Shining Force One, with uh, was it the cursed lance or something? And uh, probably on May or Pell, they take a little bit of damage, but it was fine. Ah, stock getting another good level up there. So unfortunately, there was no spots available for Roos. I guess. It'd be better to have Roos on the left than Luke, probably, but, uh... We can use this. It'll do a little bit of damage. Yeah, he takes, like, half damage from magic, so... Another reason the mages can't really help us. Could use Domingo, I guess. I think it's more likely that Bolt will do some damage than Freeze, but I don't know. Yeah, not like it makes any difference. Seven damage. Compared to the, like, 30 to 50 the good characters can do. Now, Kashing would also be a good melee attacker, but he's also a really good ring wielder. So let's... <laughs> let's try this. I feel like Claude could use some more attack. Just another 22 damage. That's all. That's, that's nothing, right? All right, here we go. Area of effect goes after blue as expected. Demon breath. So we're expecting about 30 damage to everybody. But he'll also be dead before he can do this again. Unless... Well, he could kill Luke with a physical if he hits hard enough. But even still, we can just heal him. I don't want anybody to die. I want to have a flawless victory today. Because the boss will get another turn pretty soon, I think. Oh, we can move Luke out of the way. Or we could just attack with Luke. 68 attack power? How much is that? 28 damage minus... Actually, that's not even so bad. Luke is... You know, let's, let's at least see Luke attack once. There he is. There we go. 23 damage. That's not bad. And killed by the counter. <laughs> I mean, that would have been... <laughs> classic... No, Luke! Critical 21 damage! <laughs> well, Luke, you just weren't meant to be. Wasn't meant to be. Boss gotcha. I tried to keep him alive. I tried to get some value. Man, Wendy, I don't know why I brought you to the final battle. 7 damage. Should have just brought... Uh, Somebody, anybody. Alright, Blue, let's finish this off, maybe. Not quite. Not quite. Who do we want to get the finishing blow, then? Gaian? Of all people. Gaian is, like, Prince Blue's, uh, number one backup. Like, he's his number one man. Kind of like his, uh, I don't know, first lieutenant or whatever. He's loyal servant. Roundhouse kick to a, spy, uh, to a scorpion. Waldo takes the win, 49 XP. I never got to try the boosted Claude Dark Sword power boost, actually. Ooh, ah, ooh, my knee, owie. Also, I was poisoned, but I didn't cast Detox or anything. I don't know. Hopefully that doesn't matter. Also, remember, we're trying to break the curse on Anri so she wakes up. That was the whole reason we came here, don't forget. Uh, did we win? Uh, yeah. We won, and we've got the sword, and Waldo's gone. Or at least we can't see him. Wow, he turned into a scorpion! Bruce, don't worry. At least Luke is... Well, he was safe. I don't know, he seemed kind of dead a minute ago. Father, I'm so glad to see you. Not dead. 
My friends and I couldn't let you disappear. We joined forces to come after you. Now, now, son. We heard that some brave warriors were on the way, but I had no idea that my own son would be among them. And that he's outclassed me. Uh-oh! Suddenly, Blue is afflicted by a terrible poison. Oh, what's wrong with you? Didn't you guys see when he got stabbed by the scorpion? Blue, your right arm is turned to stone. Oh, that's not good at all. That's not what I was expecting. But my arm, I need it. You fought bravely and well for one so young. But this was just the beginning of a much larger invasion. Blue, to heal your arm, you will have to face me another time. <laughs> and thus ends the story of book one. Thus, Blue and the Shining Force restored peace to Cyprus and Guardiana, lacking one arm made of stone. Maybe Anri? Yeah, yeah, she's totally fine now. Well, thank you all. Guardiana is grateful for your bravery. I'm sorry your mages were not as good as I would have been. I am still the queen of elemental ice. Blue has sacrificed his right arm for victory. Your Majesty, Cyprus plans to send soldiers into the depths of the continent. Then I will send Guardiana's best warriors to help them. The twelve children we- er, six children we sent originally. It would be an honor to go, Your Majesty. Well, you're too old. You're retired. We could help King Blue restore his arm! That's, uh... That's probably Ken, right? And then Luke. We owe him at least that much. To Cyprus! Do we get to use Anri in combat? I'd love some Freeze 4 right about now. Meanwhile, in Cyprus... Hey look, Domingo's there! With the alliance of Guardiana and Cyprus, they succeeded in waking Queen Anri. With her waking, peace was once again restored to Guardiana and Cyprus. Yay! But, as long as the right arm of the prince remains as stone, no one can escape from the shadow of the evil Eon Empire. Aww. I forgot there was voice acting. Good good job, narrator. You're you're cool, dude. I like I gotta work on my, my trouble there. Gotta make it sound like I'm narrating an epic documentary. The another story of Shining Force! We forgot how to translate from Japanese to English. The Another Story. That's good, I like that. GG, original staff. Good game. <laughs> I don't even know if GG was a thing back then. Alright, well, that's the end of book one. Um, so I've done a little bit of background reading, and uh, kind of like Shining Force 3, book one and two are not exactly related. Kind of like how Shining Force 3 scenarios one and two, you don't just continue with the same group of heroes. But the plot will progress time-wise forward, rather than Shining Force 3, where it kind of jumps back and forth a bit there with uh, their Symbios and Julian's different stories. But uh, yeah, that was fun! Um, I'm a little bit concerned about the in-game saves, because I haven't been able to successfully save on the memory cartridge for this game yet. And that might have some consequences for Book 2 and 3. <laughs> So we'll see how that works. In fact, if I can't save at all, I might not even get to, to book three, because I think book three requires a completed, a save file with book one and two completed. So that will suck if I can't actually get there, but maybe I'll figure something out. Um, so essentially, if you're wondering, those levels on like your characters, you would want them more for book three, uh, where you might get some of them back and you can get to even higher levels, theoretically. Um, and I, I guess, just, just in case you're wondering, I've got the screen open on the side here. Apparently, for spells, because I did look it up, Nick would have learned Bolt 4 at level 30, which would be 20 promoted, so minus 10 for your promotion. So we got Bolt th 3 at level 15, we would have needed 5 more levels to get his ultimate magic. That's just not going to happen in a reasonable time. Sig would have learned, uh, Blast 3 at level... 20 essentially promoted. Wendy would learn Fire 4, Blaze 4, at level 20 promoted. That's way too late. Now she might have learned, according to the, the shrine that's always wrong, 
She was supposed to learn Freeze 3, which she did not have at level 19, which would have been 9 promoted or 19 unpromoted. She never got that, so I don't know if that's just I got bugged or or whatever. But but still, even Wendy with Freeze 3 is not really going to be enough. Uh, she also learns the boot or the attack spell damage up, but again at level 27. So we got her to level 13 or so. She still had a long way to go to get Blaze 4, which is what she needed by the last fight. Uh, and then Freeze 3 would have just been nice, and Attack Up would have been something for her. Cray uh, apparently learns Blast 3 at level 30, whoop de woo uh, And uh, Heal 4 at level 27, or, you know, 17, essentially. Uh, if you're wondering about Aura, Mayfair would have learned Aura at level 20 promoted, which wouldn't be too hard to grind up on a healer if you really wanted it. But still, it would have taken a while. Like, that's some serious grinding. And Aura 3 was level 26, or, you know, 16. She also had Blast level 3 at 24, 14, and level 4 Blast, the single target high damage Blast, at uh, 28 or equivalent. So, um, she certainly has the best spell selection, but it still takes a higher level than you can really get to. Yisha never learns Freeze 3, apparently. Uh, so Blaze 4, Freeze 3, Freeze 2, she already had. Uh, she was stuck at Bolt 2 at level 12 promoted. She would have, at level 17 promoted, learned Bolt 3, finally. Even later than the hero, which is really stupid for a wizard. Like, sorry, sorry developers who designed this game. If the hero, who's already good at melee and defense, learns magic quicker than your pure spellcasters, you've done something wrong. Anyway, she does learn Bolt 3 eventually, and Bolt 4 at level 20. All the ultimate spells seem to be just at level 20, which is just dumb, because I can't get to 20, so what's the point of having spells there? I, I just, I, this is my criticism of the game. She also could have learned level 2 D-Soul at level 15 promoted, which she could have got to. So if you want an area of effect uh, D-Soul, she, she could be your girl. Uh, apparently Domingo would have learned Freeze 4 at level 20 promoted again, that's a long way off. And he would have learned Bolt 3 at level 17 promoted, so he could have got there. He also has D-Soul 2 at 15, so Domingo and Yisha would probably be the two that I would want, because they both have D-Soul, which is sometimes good, and at least carries them a little bit longer in the late game. And I think Wendy we should have just cut out, honestly. She didn't really help much for the last few fights. Uh, Amigo, if you want to use her, the, uh, the female magic creature, the healer, she does learn Aura 3 and 4. She actually learns Aura 4 earlier than Wendy. Wendy takes level 20 promoted. Uh, Amigo gets it at level 17 promoted, so a little bit easier to get Aura. And she'll learn Blast 3 and 4 at 15 and 20 if you want those. And she'll get uh, Boost 2 at level 12, so she could have got that pretty easily. Uh, the problem is Amigo doesn't have a normal heal spell, like a single target heal. So she burns through her MP really fast. So you can't really spam Aura too much, and um, she doesn't have a ton of MP when she joins, so it's a little bit hard to, to cast all that stuff. Anyway, that's just, I, I figured you guys might want to know. Like, the melee characters were all pretty much maxed out, the stats weren't going to go up much higher, just small stat gains as we leveled up. Whereas the spellcasters were really lacking because they didn't get their final tier of spells. Now, it's possible we could have just killed those green Teros monsters on the final boss, final fight, and they may have gotten us all to level 20 if you wanted to grind the last battle, but that always seems silly. Like, if you have to grind the last battle to get the best spells, and you can already beat the game quite easily, then what's the point? There's no secret super boss, right? Anyway, that's it. Um, that was Shining Force CD Book 1. Sonic. Eventually, the guys... I, I assume this was still made by the team that eventually became Camelot. Pretty sure they did all the early Shining Force games. Anyway, I'm going to take a little break for a little while. Um, we will start book two soon. Like, I'm not going to take a, a big gap. But I have recorded ahead of time a fair bit. So I'll get these all on YouTube. And then I'll plan out what we're going to do for Shining Force 2. So, unfortunately... I still have a new game. That's, what I, that's my problem, is it never saved. So can I even start book two at least? Okay, so at the very least we can do book two. That will be fine. The evil god awakes. It'll be the story for Ion. So we will definitely do that. But book three, I don't know how we're going to get to it. I need to I need to make sure that I have an in-game save as I play the evil god awakes. So I'm going to have to fiddle with that a little bit. And uh, I think it's just memory card management. It's something to do with uh, my emulator more probably. 
Um, I'm, I'm sure I mentioned earlier, I'm using uh, Kega Fusion, which is not my typical Sega emulator, but it made it really easy to record. This was a really good one for picking up an OBS uh, for recording purposes, and it looks really good, actually. It's no nothing wrong with that at all. Sounds good. It's probably more accurate. Sounds nice, all that. A little bit hard to do frame skipping, and for some reason I just didn't get the internal saves working, which I normally plan out better. Anyway, I'm, that's it for today. Next episode, once we get there, we will certainly be playing book two, and I will update the side charts. What do you guys think about them? This is a good point at the end of the book to uh, talk about the side panels. You guys like the uh, the art we put in there? There's uh, some of the, the... All the... I found basically all the... The uh, character art for the full-size drawings, basically, that I could find. Not not every character has one of those, so I just found the ones that were available. And then I basically ended up just writing up a short little blurb, kind of like what the manual says, for a little bit of background and what class they are, like that. I'm not sure how well readable that will be. So book two, I will probably try to make the font a little bigger, or I'll try to set it up a little differently, just to make it a little bit easier for you guys. I've got some ideas already. I think I know what I'll do. But uh, I've been having some fun setting up stuff like that. So book two, I plan I promise to try to make a little bit better. And uh, yeah, I'll see you there. So thanks for watching as always. I hope you have enjoyed and have a great day. Have a shiny day even. <laughs>